Good day ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Bold CNC Works. My name is Nugent. Today we are going to be engraving an anodized aluminum business card on the Auto Laser Master 2 15 watt. Now prior to recording this video I did the power scale to find the ideal settings. If you want to see it I will just leave a card up here in the top right hand corner if you want to know how to do it. Um, for the engraving we are going to be using, as always, our Lightburn software as well as ImageR for the converting of the image. So before we begin with anything, we have to get the dimensions of our business card and we're going to be drawing a rectangle so that we know what the boundaries of our image should be and our work area. Now I unlock this. Now the business card is 54 millimeters by 86. So we're going to type in 54, tap 86, then press enter. Now we are going to leave this on the black layer. I like to I like to work with, with the black layer and this rectangle because when I line up my work, I first do a engraving, a line engraving of it so that the alignment of my piece as well as the artwork is spot on. So let's go to image R and upload our picture and convert it. Let's scroll down, click on upload. Move down to where my lovely wife is. I'm going to click open. Now we're just waiting for image R to load the image. It seems like it's loaded. Let's just give it a couple of seconds. There's the image. Now, normally I would crop the image and yeah crop the image but because it's such a small a small um, what do you call small engraving area I'm just going to resize it now I'm going to click it to millimeters I'm going to do the height 87 the reason I'm doing it 87 is the measurement on the cards are sometimes off by millimeters so i would rather have it engraved a little bit over it than under don't want a solid black line at the bottom now you will see it will be wider than our 54 millimeters as well then i did my power scale test on 318 dpi now I'm done with it. Now I'm going to just click OK and wait for it to load again. There you see, current size 65 by 87. Now you can go and mirror, invert. I don't use these things. Just makes it a little more difficult. I scroll down. I don't want to add any text. I just want to click on the material. Now, as I said, I'm using the Autor. It's a diode laser. So I'm going to click on Norton. As you see, mostly used on diode lasers. Now I'm going to go down to Anodized Aluminum. Click OK. And just wait for the image to load. Scroll down. Let's just wait. Yes. As you can see, it looks a bit funny, but it will come out beautiful in the end. I'm going to click download. Download PNG. That's what I normally use. Now, because this website is free, it will always give you an ad. You can just close it. And then once it's downloaded, you can just click restart to take the image off the servers. Now we are just waiting for it to finish with the download. 
then we can drag and drop it on into Lightburn. Yes, it is finished. Drag and drop. Now this image I'm going to put on the blue layer and just drag it from the middle. See, it snaps to the middle immediately. Now the settings I'm going to be using, let's double click on that. Settings we are going to be using is 2100 millimeters per minute and 80% power. And let's make this, this 318, going to be using Stucky. And that's it. Now, we just need to set it up on the laser itself, and then we burn it. So, I'd like to thank you if you made it this far in the video. Um, if you liked the video, please like and subscribe. Please share this video if you feel like you got anything from it. Thank you very much. We will see you later. Bye-bye.